Hey, Narendra the Comic here, and right now we're going to be looking at, we're going to be watching, reacting to the scene. I'm calling it the scene. It's like in the film. It's one of the big points, the high points, maybe low points in some ways of the story from the new Tottenham documentary that got put out by Amazon Prime, All or Nothing. Now, if you don't know what scene I'm talking about, you know from the title. It's the Son Heung Min, Hugo Lloris scene. Uh, where Hugo just absolutely bottled Son uh, for not running back. Something Son does a lot, but for once he didn't do it. And he got an absolute earful. He got torn into on the pitch. Potentially a brawl was going to break out if a couple of the players hadn't been there. I think Hugo wouldn't have done it. I don't think he would have gone all out with it. I think he was barking rather than biting at Son. So let's get to this clip. Uh, Son feels the Fury. That's the that's the title, man. Uh, this was a hard watch when when it actually happened on the pitch. So let's get to it. Let's go. Hugo Lloris was left very exposed there, and it looks like he's taking his frustrations out on Hyun Min Son. And the oh, discussions I don't like it, are you continuing know. into the tunnel. C'est bon. Wow, there's just shouting like that. He's the same for you. He's the same for Ari. He's the same for Luca. Make the run. One minute to go. One minute to go. We need to go. Go. What's your respect? I suppose it is. Uh, that was good. Okay. From Toby, very, that very was. Good. What happened in here? I don't know the whole of the story. I know that he wants you to come back. I want you that you, he wants you to come back. You don't know. Mourinho is talking that. nonsense. But good. If you are a kid, if you are a spoiled guy, it's very bad. If you take it in the right way, you become stronger. Probably this would be something that wouldn't happen one month ago, two months ago, one year ago, two years ago, it happened because now you demand more from, from each other, you feel more the responsibility where you have to give more. Big win for Spurs. It was all about the three points today and Spurs get it. When you are in the action, you know, forgiven. sometimes it's difficult to, to manage your emotions. So that's something that made me a bit out of control. But... The best way is to check the hand and, and to move on. Uh, most of the time, the craziest guy on the pitch, they are teddy bears on the life. In moments like this, we have just to win. Oh, 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 we are alive! We are alive! Uh, that's locker room talk. I will tell you the stuff Mourinho has said before. You know, there's that, there's that, there's that term that got thrown about three, four years ago, uh, blew up for certain reasons. That's locker room talk. It's a real thing. It does happen. Uh, and most people would be disgusted at the things that are said in these types of locker rooms, as has been shown by this documentary with how Mourinho actually just speaks English and any language for that matter. But it is just the fact of the matter. And uh, that's sort of just how it goes. You know, some people have different management styles. Some people are different. And some people act in certain ways. And Mourinho is someone who acts where he keeps on saying the word <coughs> All the time. Uh, he said it in the last couple episodes when, when the last batch got put out last Friday or last Monday, sorry. To be fair to the boys and everyone involved in this scenario, it was good to see everyone jumping in and being like, hey, calm down, boys, all right? Serge being like speaking in the French, being like, it's, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. Don't worry about it. But at the end of the day, people were heated and shit happened. But it was good to see everyone sort of took a step forward and said, calm down, lads, all right? We're still, we're still okay. It's only half time. Don't worry. This is the highest level of sport, right? Other than the Champions League, other than the World Cup, the Premier League is that next standard bearer for quality of football. And I think this is what happens sometimes. People get at each other's throats and they're just demanding, as Mourinho said. He's trying to spin it so it's something he's done. Like, we just demand more now because we're trying to be better. We're trying to be the best. And that's what happens when you try and be the best. People will collide. People will have arguments. As long as it's resolved at the end, then then it's all good. So he directed the conversation in a certain way that sort of helped him out in, in what he's been saying. Uh, 
but this was something that was a huge talking point the whole season, basically, after this little scuffle happened between Son and Hugo. Uh, and it seemed like after the match, everything was all sorted and it didn't really come up ever since then. But you always wanted to see what happened, what really happened in the changing room. And because of this show, we actually got to see it. Not that I wanted fisticuffs. You know, you don't want the fisticuffs. But, like, I kind of wanted some fisticuffs going on. Just a little bit. Like, if there was, like, a proper shove, like, a shove to the ground. Like, like I, I don't want to encourage violence or anything. But they started the violence, all right? Uh, Hugo started the violence. So, yeah, I think it's, it's an odd case because Son always does track back. He always does a lot defensively. Ever since Mourinho came in, he has done. Even when Poch was there, he would run back and make defensive runs. Uh, Lucas as well. He has improved a lot defensively under Mourinho compared to what he did under Poch. And uh, Kane's been playing as a bloody centre def centre defensive mid in parts of Mourinho's first season because that's just what's demanded of him in that moment. Uh, and Son doesn't make the run once and, and I think it was Everton almost scored and hell almost breaks loose, right? So I hope that that, that this type of stuff doesn't happen next season. But who knows? It might become more common. I hope not, but... Yeah, yeah, you really, you never know. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Hugo will come after you. Apparently, he's going after people for not making the run back, for not tracking back. So what will he do if you don't subscribe? I don't know. Maybe nothing, maybe something, maybe a little of both, maybe somewhere in between. You don't want that either way. You really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been Narendra the Comic. You've been great. I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over two years now. We ain't stopping. No stopping. No stop till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Come back again tomorrow for some more quality shitty content because we're hashtag never not here. My boys, my lads. It's just a fact of life. Come back tomorrow for some more bakwas. Nonsense. If you don't know, that's nonsense. In Punjabi, the bakwas. I bring the bakwas. I bring the bakwas every single day. I bring the quality shit content. So see you then. See you tomorrow with some more of the same different, different same, similar yet slightly different bakwas. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.